the NHS uh, treatment in the UK is, is, uh, is slightly different to other European countries. Obviously, we're co uh, constrained by what, what NICE uh, approves or not. Uh, uh, but I think it's very privileged uh, for, for, the, for the UK clinicians at the moment, because we have, a, uh, for, for the first time in many years, we have a, a vast, a wide variety of, of alternatives to treatment for CLL. And uh, the latest approval has been ibrutinib plus venetoclax uh, combination. And we expect that the xanobrutinib, which is the third beta-K inhibitor, in, 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 it, in its class will be approved later in the year. So we'll have now three uh, different BTK inhibitors. We'll have a brutinib plus venetoclax combination and venetoclax and obinutuzumab combination, all of which could be used potentially in frontline therapy. So um, uh, it is going to be very uh, exciting, but also very difficult for us clinicians to be able to determine which is the best treatment for each patient. Um, uh, not, not only for, because of the, of the number of choices, but also because all of them are very effective and, and the, the difference are very subtle between one another. So um, we've got a lot of job ahead of us to try to determine and, and to guide uh, UK clinicians into which is the best um, alternative. And obviously in the UK, uh, the health economics and the cost effectiveness is a very important point. And therefore uh, the fixed duration therapies in general are cost saving for the health system. And, 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 and the, the uh, I, um, concept of fixed duration therapy in which the patients are then uh, having a treatment free period, which theoretically less side effects and less hospital visits is very appealing for the NHS system. So I think, um, you know, gr granted that there is equal efficacy of these treatments, I think uh, we will uh, intend to uh, be favoring these fixed duration therapies because of the trouble, uh, economical and, and uh, financial and, um, and logistical trouble that the NHS is in because of the number of patients, the constant aging population and the, and the financial constraints of the hospitals themselves. So um, I think that's, that, that's, the, that's the, uh, the key things about the, the, the treatment uh, in, in the NHS of, of CLL. And I think, um, and I think uh, it will be uh, very exciting to see what happens. And, and uh, in the next few years, uh, we are working with the um, NCRI group into uh, bringing new uh, clinical clinical studies that will hopefully change further practice. And, and that will mean if, if incorporation of further new um, uh, combinations of treatments that could be potentially equally effective. So, um, so I, I think, I think uh, uh, the, the science will move into looking into uh, safety and, and, the, and the, the, the subtlety, the subtle difference in, the, in these treatments uh, in order to guide us. And, um, and uh, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very happy and very excited to be a CLL clinician in this, in this, uh, this time because there's a lot of things that will happen in the next few years still.